The Shadow's Voice In a kingdom where drones hovered above, spies recorded whispers of the people. There lived a boy named Leon. His shadow was his constant companion, following his every step and tracing his movements on the old walls. But Leon felt that his shadow was different from others, more curious, more independent. Sometimes he saw it slink away from him as if it had a will of its own. One day, the kingdom announced a competition. The king asked his subjects to submit ideas for a project that would benefit the realm. The winning project would receive a grand prize and the king's eternal favor. Leon wanted to participate, but his imagination was blank. That evening, while contemplating his shadow, a strange question struck him. What ideas would shadows have if they could think? Leon smiled at the fanciful thought, but his shadow surprised him. It detached itself from his body, stood tall and began to speak. At first, Leon didn't understand its strange language, but they communicated through feelings and images instead of words. The shadow expressed its yearning for freedom, revealing that it lived a more exciting hidden life than Leon himself. Leon realized his project was ready. He borrowed a pen and wrote a plan about shadows, adding drawings of his shadow dancing, laughing, and singing. The next morning, he presented his project to the king, and soon after, the king summoned him to the palace. Initially, the king dismissed the idea. What madness was this? How could a project about shadows be useful? But Leon insisted, telling the king about his shadow's abilities and the hidden worlds unknown to humans. The king's eyes narrowed in suspicion, but he agreed, on the condition that Leon prove his claims. Leon requested a private meeting with the king's shadow. To the king's astonishment, Leon succeeded in communicating with it and convinced it to separate and perform some movements. This was the first time the king saw his shadow move in such a way. He felt a strange awe, as if he had discovered an invisible part of himself. The king declared Leon's project a success and ordered the establishment of special centers in the kingdom to study shadows and discover their hidden abilities. Little did he know, this would lead to an unexpected revolution. People began spending more time with their shadows, learning a new language, one that didn't require words. Gradually, shadows became friends, advisors, and sanctuaries when the world felt overwhelming. The king's authority began to wane as people were no longer afraid of direct surveillance. They expressed themselves through their shadows, which danced, sang, and conveyed their feelings and opinions freely. For the first time, the kingdom became a place without secrets. As for Leon, he transformed into a hero. He had no idea that a simple question would liberate his shadow and, in turn, set an entire kingdom free. Sometimes, the strongest revolutions begin with the smallest of beings, defying all logic.